Hey guys, um, I am going to try to make this video not so crazy. I guess I should have gone live on my Facebook too. Whoops. And I am using legit like my spoon holder to hold this phone up. But I am so obsessed with these beets. And like I had bought six, I cooked three yesterday. I'm going to cook two today. And I wanted to show you, yesterday I cubed them. Today I am um, spiralizing them. So you can get this off of Amazon for like 30 or 40 bucks. And I've had this forever. It is kind of a pain in the butt, I do have to say, to clean. But say you're just lazy or maybe you just want to make pasta noodles or zoodles or whatever. You can make zoodles out of everything. Carrots, uh, potatoes, um, uh, different kinds of squash, uh, eggplant, and beets. So I wanted to show you real quick how you do it is you attach the beet to the spiralizer and then you um, take your spiralizer like see I already made some already but I just wanted to show you um, so this is like the worst lighting and I'm so sorry um, but yeah I've already this is one beat already I made zoodles out of it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast them in the oven because that's the way I like them best um, I guess you can boil them if you want to, but I just feel like when you roast beets, it gives it like that caramel flavor. And you get me if you are obsessed with beets, you know what I'm talking about. So again, for the, those just joining to making um, roasted beets, ow, I have a little one like literally below my foot. So you take the spiralizer right here and um, you attach it to the thing like that and this thing comes with different attachments um, which is awesome so here I go I wanted to show you real quick how you do it so you have to hold this there's this like this noodle nozzle thing can you see it and you have to like push it while turning this thing at the same time so I guess I should have put this further back I'm not really good at doing this. I'm not a professional video person, but I'll upload this to my IG, IG stories so that you can see it later too. Huh? I mean my IG TV. Hey, you wait. The struggle is real. So I wanted to show you, I have a little one right below me, how I do this and how it makes zoodles out of it. I love this thing. There's like a little thing that attached to the counter, but I don't really have it secured down. But I just wanted to show you real quick how this does. Hold on. I don't know why this one's a little bit harder than the other one. Oh, here we go. You gotta get the flow. You gotta get the flow. That's my oven getting ready because I'm about to. All right, see? It's coming through. It's coming through, come through, come through. Now, this does stain, see, kind of like a pomegranate, so you have to like be real careful. Ow, my finger. <laughs> the struggle's real. Um, this one's a little harder than the other one. The other one I just did. No, don't. All right, so detach, and then pull this out. And what I do when I pull this out, you still can use this. I just chop it up real. I just chop it real small. See how your fingers are red? You really got to be super careful with like this outfit that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna chop this and make it small. So don't throw this away. That's this is how big the contraption is. This is how big it is. So um, and it's like. I don't use it often. It is kind of a pain in the butt to clean, but I mean, if you're trying to like stay low carb and all the things, and you like to make zoodles and not use pasta, because when I eat pasta, it makes me blow up. I'm not a, I don't, I'm not, I'm a non-believer of carb loading. I do not carb load. It actually makes me nauseous and sick and bloated and all things. Sucks getting old. Just saying. So this is all of it. This is two, two beats two beats 
<laughs> it's a lot. So um, I'm gonna roast this and literally, literally all you have to do is put like your favorite seasoning. This is what I'm gonna do. And everyone keeps talking about everything but the bagel. I don't have a Trader Joe's. Well, I do, but it's like an hour away. And so I guess someone says I can order it online, but this is one of my favorite, like me and the boys fight over it. It's called Roasted Garlic Herb by McCormick. Can you see it? It has like salt, onion, spices, black pepper, coriander, and all things. So you can drizzle this with olive oil if you want to. I try to remain low or oil free as much as possible. Um, and so this is what you do. You just, if you want to drizzle with olive oil, you can. I sprayed the the cooking, the baking sheet at, um, with Pam. And you just sprinkle this, that's it. It's like super easy to cook. I mean, and then when it comes out of the oven and it, you know, it's still not to your liking, you can add more, you can add Himalayan salt. Sorry about the TV being loud. You can add whatever. So good. Um, I'm gonna mix mine with shi shiitake noodles, those zero, zero carb noodles. I'm sorry about the TV being loud, it's commercial. Um, this is, was not a well thought out video. <laughs> This is live for you. Anyways, you probably would bake this. Um, I set the oven around 450, so probably, hey, probably for like 30 minutes and just check it. Um, check it at like 20 minutes, but you'll smell it. You'll open it up, and it should be when it's done like a darker color and then like real caramelized. It's so good. Don't discard beets. Um, it really is good, good for you. And it's really sweet um, when you're done cooking in the oven. So I hope this video helped that you can not only cube beets, but you can also use a spiralizer. And it's so freaking yummy. Give it a shot, I promise you it's worth it. And I'll talk to you soon.